I completed my new settee cushion project. They're boxing cushions, which is simply six sides of material sewn together with foam in between. With this material, you cannot just cut it with scissors. It will start to unravel if you do. You need to cut it with a hot knife, which melts the ends together while it makes the cut. In order to get the foam in after sewing the six sides together, I added a zipper to one of the sides. The backing is this vinyl mold and mildew resistant material, and for the back rests, I'm attaching button snaps. I'll highlight their function when we get the finished backrest into the boat. Measure, mark, and cut the foam with a bread knife, then insert into the boxing. I didn't have the special shrink silk film to get the uh, foam in, um, but <clears throat> it took me about less than 10 minutes to get uh, the foam in. And get it this is what those button snaps are for on the backing material. Their counterpart screws into the teak wood here. The previous backrests were held up against the teak with standard hook and loop velcro, which fatigues over time and ends up rubbing on the cushion seat and fuzzing the material when they detach. I believe this will be a superior long-term solution to keep these in place in all conditions. Just need to get this foam more aligned, but basically that's it. I have come to the conclusion that if you can, keep anything and everything off the foredeck, specifically the dinghy. So I'm attaching pad eyes to the sea shield on top of the companionway to hold my dinghy. Now I've already sewn up a nice sack for my dinghy, and since it's somewhat of a non-conventional dinghy, its profile works well for it to be secured here. After removing the sea shield, I am removing the old silicone from the edges and preparing the surface for a fresh layer of silicone before I secure it back on the boat. After a good wash, I measured, marked, and drilled the holes for the bolts that hold the pad eyes and backing washers in place. Sea deck comes in these rolls. I, I get it for packaging, but it means that they all need to be uh, unrolled. They need to be laid out so that they're flat because you can't pattern them. You can't lay them down and really pattern them when they're trying to roll up on you. This material is something I was looking at months ago for a non-slip deck upgrade option, but at the time the total cost would have been upwards of $600. However, the manufacturer recently ran a 50% off clearing sale. I'm just giving the washed surface a final wipe down with acetone to ensure good adhesion. Exposing a little strip of the adhesive in the center here allows me to position it and then secure the center after it's in place. So, let's fold it out. We will line up. Line up the edges. And now I can pull the backing from either side of the little exposed strip of adhesive that is holding it in place. This roller tool was considered critical by the manufacturer for a proper installation of the adhesive. Now that the cockpit is done, time to move on to the rest. Washing the deck and then wiping with acetone, it's ready for patterning.
I used craft paper with a little scribe that takes your pencil, then runs along the edge of the coach roof to transfer the radius to the craft paper. Attaching the craft paper to the material, I then cut the patterned line into the material. The tow rail pattern is scribed the same as the coach roof. Again, expose a little adhesive here in the center, line it up, join the exposed adhesive to the deck and the backing comes off while the material stays in place. The two benefits of this material that I saw over a traditional non-slip surface are its superior non-slip properties and the six millimeters of foam that impart a nice cushion to your step. I've read reviews on both ends of the spectrum for this product, followed manufacturer guidelines on the best practice installation, and hopefully it lasts a few seasons of cruising. And if not, it wasn't a $600 mistake. Next time, I start replacing my standing rigging with the mast up, I install a boom vang, and my electronic autopilot arrives. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.